Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Chintan. Currently studying my second year of MBBS at CT Simo, Bangalore. So in this video, we are going to talk about what books to study for your first year of MBBS. So, so coming to the subjects, we have uh, three subjects, three main subjects. So physio, anat, and biochem. This is what I followed for physiology, and this is what I followed for anat, and this for biochem. So let's start so here what most people go wrong is that uh, they focus more on anatomy compared to physio and biochem so you know what happens when you focus on one subject and you neglect physiology and biochem this is same like you uh, giving more priority to biology compared to your physics and chemistry right so the total aggregate comes down uh, in your total marks uh, marks card yeah keep in your mind that you have to focus on all the three subjects every subject uh, has three type of books okay. the gold standard book the standard ones and your exam oriented or uh, also called as guides so I don't have any gold standard books here I personally don't prefer you studying a gold standard book because that will be vast for you to study and uh, I think it's not preferable at all if at all you're doing some research work then i would suggest you to go into these gold standard books okay for example uh, in anat we have uh, grace anatomy which is a gold standard book i would never prefer you to read gold standard books because they are not exam friendly books that's all so then what are exam friendly the standard ones these books are published by Indian authors and they are mainly focusing on your curriculum and for your exams so these books cover most of the topics they are very good for your exams for your boards so coming to the last the last category we have the guides or the last two to three months books okay so one of the category book is this one uh, this is called rmp rm prasad uh, it's for biochem let's start with anatomy let me tell you what all uh, subdivisions we have in anatomy we have a general anatomy upper limb head and neck neuroanatomy thorax abdomen lower limb histology embryology x-ray surface marking and osteology okay so these are the uh, units that we are dealing with anatomy in the first year uh, let me tell you again general anat upper limb head and neck neuro anat thorax abdomen lower limb histology embryology x-ray surface marking and osteology so this much is the entire syllabus of first year for anatomy if you're thinking to follow the gold standard book of anatomy the grace anatomy just forget about it guys uh, there's no point of even thinking about it because uh, just reading the standard books uh, will make you so hard during your exam times that it's literally not possible to read grace anatomy only if you are a superhuman i think you can do it okay coming to the standard books we have uh, two major authors so the bdc bd chaurasia and vishram singh so these are books from vishram singh see upper limb and thorax abdomen and lower limb uh, head and neck and this is uh, neuroanatomy embryology from Vishram Singh this is Langman's embryology I don't prefer this book uh, I studied my embryology from Vishram Singh I prefer Vishram Singh over Langman because Langman is not so student friendly and it consists more of articles uh, so understanding concepts for first year I think this is a, a pretty hard compared to this book so why did i choose vishram singh over bdc see vishram singh is a new author the main advantage of 
Vishram Singh is that the diagrams in Vishram Singh is pretty easy to draw your mind does not uh, get burdened during your exam time so see if you have a line diagram uh, it's easy compared to some picture uh, seeing in a cadaver right so Visham Singh gives you more of a line diagram things I have I will provide you the links in my description box uh, go and have a look at it if at all you have an iPad uh, I would suggest you having a PDF of VDC in your iPad and getting this Vishram Singh set. So that's a pretty good idea if you have an iPad. For histology, I would tell you two authors, Sangeeta and Balakrishnan Shetty. Okay, Balakrishnan Shetty, I I used to refer it in uh, from my library okay so Balakrishnan Shetty is a book which is having a horizontal layout you can find it out easily Bal Balakrishnan Shetty okay I prefer Balakrishnan Shetty more compared to your uh, Sangeeta both are pretty good books okay and then next for embryology I would highly prefer you having uh, Vishram Singh again this is a new edition of uh, Vishram Singh even even though it is a new edition i think this book will give you easily uh, full marks in your embryology okay not full at least uh, four out of five or something like that yeah i just got my results until my third internals i was very weak in anatomy but why because i never used to touch embryo and histo till my third internals i used to score around 55 okay so after uh, so during my holidays for final exams i started studying embryo from vishram singh and i made a pretty good notes for histology i'll make a video on that also uh, and i'll post it uh, someday okay so go check it out i'll uh, i'll put some card here right now i've scored around uh, 146 out of 200 so that that means around uh, 70 plus in your anat paper so 70 plus getting a 70 plus is it's a pretty good score i guess i would not force you to study vishram singh go have a look at bdc also whichever is comfortable go have that book for your first year both the books will have almost the same content but the only thing Visham Singh has a greater point is uh, about the diagrams that's all coming to the surface marking and osteology uh, these books what I told abdomen head and neck uh, upper limb and thorax lower limb these books contains osteology in them uh, and also surface marking in them uh, are in in the respective units they have osteo and surface marking so coming to the last option uh, if at all you're very weak in your anatomy I personally don't prefer this but if at all you're very weak in your anatomy go have a look to this book uh, this book is called as selective anatomy okay selective anatomy you can find it on Amazon I'll uh, share the link so we are finished talking about it anatomy okay done anatomy is done now coming to physio uh, the same thing follows in physiology also this is physiology volume 1 and volume 2 what I studied is GK Pal okay so the same thing applies for physiology also uh, uh, the gold standard books in physiology are uh, Genang, Guyton and Hall. These both are foreign authors. Okay. Uh, again, I don't prefer you guys to read these books. Coming to the standard books, uh, they are published by Indian authors. There are mainly two main authors uh, for physiology. Uh, one is GK Pal, which I have. Uh, I highly prefer GK Pal. The next one is AK Jin. GK Pal and AK Jin. Both these books are uh, so both these books are well narrated and uh, pretty good, but I personally prefer uh, G K Pal or A K Jain. 
because again i feel uh, gk pal is more of student friendly especially to me gk pal is far far better than a kitchen okay because in gk pal uh, if you open the book see it's well organized compared to your a kitchen and uh, in every paragraph we have sort of highlighted words if you have highlighted words in your uh, paragraphs i think that would be a plus point when you're uh, doing your revision during your exams i scored around 150 in my physio so that gives you around 75 uh, 150 out of 200 so 75 in uh, each paper paper 1 and paper 2 i know gk pal has two volumes it's very hard even akj has two volumes so the last option again coming to physiology we have uh, what what do you call the easiest books uh, if at all you are not too much interested and if it, if 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 you want to finish physiology easily i would suggest to you these single volume books some of the authors are indu kurana venkatesh uh, and then sembulingam the first author indu kurana uh, it's it's more of a complex language yeah Com and then next one uh, venkatesh most of my friends use venkatesh and indu kurana and they also have scored around uh, 60 plus there's no doubt you're not going to fail in physio if you're following this uh, this last category of books venkatesh indu kurana and sembulingam uh, i don't know much about sembulingam uh, go have a look if at all you want to see but i would highly recommend venkatesh in this category because venkatesh again is a new author of course uh, this is a negative point but that does not matter here venkatesh has a simple language compared to any other books of physiology but if at all you want to have that satisfaction that you have uh, studied physiology in your first year go with gk pal volume 1 and volume 2 gk pal again as the concise edition which as uh, single volume i don't prefer that single volume books uh, because if you want to have that satisfaction that you have studied go with this okay. uh, i would tell you biochemistry is the easiest easiest subject if you study in your first year but what most people do is most students neglect biochemistry most neglected underrated subject of first year is biochemistry okay so even i did the same thing just because biochemistry is easy we we feel that we can complete the syllabus just before one day of exam again the gold standard books are lippincott's and Har harper's i did not follow these books ever these are mainly for research purpose the standard books for biochem is uh, vasudevan and satyanarayan this is vasudevan okay this was provided from our college this was suggested by the teachers from our college this is vasudevan just have a look at it okay vasudevan and satyanarayan satyanarayan i used to study from satyanarayan during my initial days of first year uh, i i never actually i never opened this book uh, because i did not feel like reading from vasudevan that's my personal experience okay so don't get offended vasudevan uh, both vasudevan and satyanarayan has single volume and then uh, according to me if at all you want to follow a standard book for biochemistry uh, i would prefer you satyanarayan okay uh, this is the ultimate book for biochemistry only students know the value of this book no one else can uh, know the value of this book okay because we guys love this book so much uh, it's like yeah i don't want to tell you anything about this book uh, because most of the professors and uh, teachers out there don't prefer you studying from rmp uh, 
they say it's like a guide don't study from this but guys uh, to be frank i have followed rmp uh, uh, almost my entire year i have scored pretty good in biochemistry i have scored around 60 plus okay so i got around 130 marks in biochem so that that gives you around uh, 65 marks just by this book okay so the thing is uh, after third internals i did not study biochem i did not give time for biochem so it happens to be less scored subject in my first year i agree uh, this book does not have uh, clinical images but i don't think that's needed for you for your exams it's just exam oriented guys everything is in this book nothing is left out every question come uh, in my exam came from this book okay so don't worry have this book have one of uh, the standard books uh, get a good combination uh, go on with your bio uh, don't buy any books uh, before joining the college go to the college uh, get adjusted for a week go to the library check the books out there uh, see which books might get adjusted to your uh, mentality or perspective or what type of books you need so uh have a go through all the books out there for first year and and then uh go on buy if at all you needed and and don't forget to ask your seniors okay uh, don't simply go on buy the books if at all you are a person who need a new book then go on buy definitely go on buy a new one uh if a old one is going to uh, make your uh, job go borrow your books from seniors that's all okay guys that's up for the video if you like this video uh, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel